We had a great exchange together. The best part about this is the following. I applaud Elon for, you know, the fact that, you know, just a few months ago, he said he's not going to have, he's not going to have Alex on. And then after seeing what the audience wants, the survey comes to 70, 30 and keeping that commitment for allowing Alex to be on the people who have different, strong opinions, who are humanists, who want to defend freedom of speech, defend the same rights that we have. We're finding each other. And I just want everybody to remember this. Go back to September of 2022 when Professor Galloway said Elon is full of it. He's not going to buy it. He's toying with all of you. And then Elon bought the company, whatever the price uh, of the company was. Some said it was 50% more. It was a $20 billion company, $30 billion company. He paid the entire number. He didn't have to do this. If that purchase wasn't to be made, think about where America would be today. I want everybody to think about that part. It's been 13 months since then. It's pissed a lot of people off. The fact that, Elon, I applaud you for standing up to folks who you're saying what you're saying to advertisers, where what do you have to do? Be a slave to them. They have to constantly put that fear in you. We applaud you. You got a lot of people backing you up. Alex, it's great to have you back on. Pushing the envelope. You could be wrong. Everybody could be wrong. It's not like all of us are always right. We have the ability to be wrong. And when we are and people can challenge us and move on and, you know, then they can make a decision. Either look, I don't like Alex or I like Alex. Great. No problem. That's the freedom of, you know, you have to pick and choose to like somebody's views or not.